Hello and good evening. Thank you for joining us for tonight's webinar. My name is Tina Davidson. I manage the DeWitt and Camillus AAA branches. Tonight we have something very special planned for you, including, but not limited to, $100 off 2022 and 2023 cruise and cruise tours with a deposit prior to the 8th of February. And there's a reduced deposit promotion going on. Joining us to share more of the details is Debbie Heggie, Business Development Manager for Princess Cruise Line. A bit of housekeeping before we begin. I will have everyone on mute, so please enter any questions or comments in the chat area, and we will address them after the webinar is over. So without further delay, Debbie Heggie. Well, thanks, Tina. Thanks because you know how much I love to talk about my favorite destination. I'm always willing to um, chat about Alaska. I've been with Princess just, uh, believe it or not, it's, it'll be 25 years in just a couple of months. And I've been lucky enough to have been up to Alaska, whether it's for work or for vacation, nine times. And we're very excited to present our 2022 lineup and our 2023 lineup. Uh, of course, we've been closed up in Alaska. We had to s stop service in 2020 and in uh, this past summer in 2021, we were very limited um, with some of the lodges being open, but not our full year like we we've had for over 50 years. So it's a short season. Uh, Alaska is mid-May through mid-September. And I remember when I first came to Princess, how confusing I thought this destination really was and wondered how I was gonna be able to um, understand it all. There's just so many choices for you. And I wanna reassure everyone that's attending tonight that the AAA agents of AAA Western and Central New York understand this product thoroughly and they have been with us up in Alaska. They've been to our lodges, they've been on our trains, and most importantly, they've sailed with Princess. So they truly can explain this complicated destination to you. So let's take a look, let's start. Princess is number one. We've been voted number one in Alaska for 14 straight years. We do land and sea vacations. And one of the first thing that the AAA advisors is going to be going to ask you is, how long can you be gone? So I want you to start to think about that. Put that question in the forefront of your mind, because that's very important for them to help determine which package is the best package for you. And we put land and sea vacations together. And what I mean by that is we have the seven night cruises and we also own our own uh, rail cars in Alaska, we own the motor coaches, and we own the princess operated lodges there. So we put the packages together. So again, one of the uh, second question your advisor is going to ask you is, can, are, do you want to do land and sea vacations? Because we do have other options. We do have a round trip Seattle itinerary that's seven nights. And we also have a 10 night round trip San Francisco itinerary. So if you answered yes to the travel advisor that you did want to do land and sea, these two options are not going to be suitable for you because you would need to do the one way itineraries, which means you're going to go in or out of Vancouver. And in the bottom right hand corner, that port is the port of Whittier, Alaska, which is approximately about 35 minutes outside of Anchorage. So you would do the one-way itineraries to connect to the land. So you'll hear us, uh, Tina or myself, you'll hear us speak about cruise tours. And what we're really talking about here is the land and the sea components together which means you would do the seven night cruise on the one way itineraries or what we call the voyage of the glaciers cruise. One segment of your uh, journey on the inland would be on our, uh, on our train, our exclusive princess rail. 
and then you would be staying for at you'd be staying at the princess lodges which are all located near the national parks so if you were going to do the cruise first if you were going to start with the seven night cruise you would fly into vancouver from Syracuse, Rochester, and Buffalo, or Buffalo, and the AAA advisor will be able to book that air for you. Princess does have a terrific air program called Princess Easy Air, just like Easy Pass on the throughway, Easy Air, and you would be able to reserve your flights, take a look at your, take a look at the times with your AAA agents, and it's a, a very much reduced air cost than what you would find if you went direct to the airline. And another bonus about the Princess Air is that you would, the AAA advisor will hold your air seats, but you will not pay for those air seats until final payment, which is approximately 85 days before departure. So we would start with the cruise, fly into Vancouver. You would do the seven day voyage of the Glacier's Cruise. Then one segment of your time on the land would be on our exclusive direct to the wilderness train service. And then you would end your journey at the lodges and you would spend three, it could be four, five, up to eight nights on the land at the Princess Wilderness Lodges. That's what we consider a northbound cruise tour. We also have the flip side of that, which is a southbound cruise tour which means you'd fly into either Anchorage or Fairbanks, depending on which tour that you had selected. And you'd start with your three nights up to eight on the land at the Princess Wilderness Lodges. You'd travel by our exclusive direct to the wilderness rail service on one segment of your journey on the, on the land. And then you'd end with your seven night Voyage of the Glaciers cruise and end in Vancouver and come home from there. So it's northbound or southbound. Uh, AAA can take a look at either one for you. And here we go. This is going to bring, hopefully, make it a little bit clearer. So with the Seattle cruises, if you can see my cursor here, Seattle being way down here and San Francisco even further, in order to do seven days, you go through that inside passage, go to Ketchikan, Juneau, Skagway, some of these itineraries go into Glacier Bay and some go into Hubbard Glacier. But that's as far north as you can go in that amount of time, coming back down through the Inside Passage with a stop in Victoria, BC, before returning back to either Seattle or San Francisco. So you cannot do the interior with that because you're just not far enough north. In order to do the cruise and the land, you would start in Vancouver, if we were doing the cruise first, and then you would cruise through up through the Inside Passage to Ketchikan, then continue on to Juneau, continue the next day to Skagway, and all of these itineraries go into Glacier Bay National Park. And then on Princess, you do get two glacier viewing days in this seven day itinerary. So everyone, as I said, has Glacier Bay National Park and you would have a secondary glacier viewing day in either Hubbard Glacier or over here in College Fjord. So, and you dock right here in Whittier. And you'll notice this little zipper line right here, it looks like a zipper, that represents the Alaskan Railroad. So the princess ships are right across the street from the train service itself. And I'm going to show you a picture of how close we are when we dock in Whittier. There are other cruise lines up in Alaska. They dock down here in Seward. You notice we don't even put Seward on the map. It is 110 miles to get from Seward, Alaska up to Anchorage, and that represents four hours on Alaskan roads. And so there's only one train a day because to get from Whittier to Denali, it's approximately eight to nine hours. So Princess being docked where we are in Whittier, we can get you from where the ship will dock in Whittier all the way up to Denali in the very same day. 
So let's take a look at where our lodges are. We've got two lodges that are on the rail system. Right here, we've got the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge right at the gates of Denali National Park. In fact, our lodge is just is the closest lodge to the park itself. It's a 15 minute walk or there's complimentary shuttle service going back and forth to the park. At the south side of the park, we've got the Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge. Then over here to the right, on the right side, we've got the Copper River Princess Wilderness Lodge. You'll notice it's not on the rail service, but it's right at the gates of Rengel St. Elias National Park. And down here at the, on the Kenai Peninsula, we've got the Kenai Princess Wilderness Lodge, also not on the rail, but those are the two on the rail and two that are not on the rail system. So the land, as I said, can be any place between three up to eight nights, and the cruise itself will always be the seven night cruise. So here we are cruising through the inside passage. You'll notice how close our ship is to the land, and that will continue through the inside passage. Many of our cruisers that have joined us here in Alaska in the past, historically, We've had over 50% of the ship be first-time cruisers, and it's because after they've done their research in this destination, they find that the cruise really is the best way to see Alaska. The ports of call on the majority of our cruises, we have Juneau, which is Alaska's capital, Skagway, where it has all the Gold Rush era charm, and then we've got Ketchikan. And here is the state capital of Alaska, Juneau. And you'll notice that Juneau is locked in by that mountain range behind it. You're not able to drive out of the state capital. You can only leave the capital by water or by air. And right outside of the city limits right here, this is called the Mendenhall Glacier. And there'll be multiple, multiple shore excursions for you to choose from. And the AAA advisors have been, have been on these shore excursions too. Many of them have. So they would be able to um, advise you based on your interests, you know, which, what would be a good fit for you. We've got um, river rafting, biking, canoeing, flight um, helicopter, or you can simply just take a motor coach out to the visitor center at the Mendenhall Glacier. This is Skagway. Oh, this is one of my favorite ports of call. In 1897, it was home to 20,000 people. This is where the miners went to buy their supplies before they climbed up the Chaluk Trail to seek their fortune. But today, it's a town of just almost 900 residents, all connected by the boardwalk. Uh, they've done um, historical remodels on some of these buildings. Just a charming place and a very, very quaint port. And this is the scenery that's right outside of the city of Skagway. Just magnificent scenery. This is Ketchikan, and this is only five blocks from where Princess docks the ship. This is called Creek Street, and it was at one time uh, saloons and brothels, and today it's just a quaint little short walk from where we dock our ship. And right across the street, there's a very excellent uh, lumberjack show that I think you would find, people do find amusing. But it's important to note that Princess docks the ships. We do not drop anchor in the harbors. Um, we have the best docking. You, you don't think about the, where the ships are gonna dock until you get there. But some ships do have to tender into the ports where with Princess, you can walk on and walk off the ship as many times as you like. Go out for a shore excursion in the morning, come back to our ship for lunch, go back out for the afternoon if you've got a shore excursion or whichever way you wanted to do it. But very, very good par parking. This is Glacier Bay National Park. It's a 
million acre national park. And it's also a UNESCO listed treasure. It'll both astound and intrigue you. The magnificent Marjorie Glacier will impress you. Beyond the ice, you'll see towering snow-capped mountains, deep fjords, and hopefully catch a glimpse of humpback whales, sea otters, and porpoises here in Glacier Bay. And it's important to note that the state of Alaska al allows ships to enter Glacier Bay only by permit. Princess has the permits to get into Glacier Bay, and it's only two ships allowed per day into Glacier Bay. Right at the entrance, we'll have boarded two park rangers that will be with us during the day at Glacier Bay. They'll be up on the port deck, the, the pool deck, they'll have microphones, and they will be talking about what you're seeing, experiencing uh, firsthand. Also, if you're down in your cabin and you wish to turn on, have a little privacy on your balcony just for a little bit, you can turn on the selected TV station, the TV channel, and you will be able to hear the park ranger downstairs in your cabin. Just one of the highlights of the trip is Glacier Bay. But remember, I did say that you would have two glacier viewing days on this itinerary, and this is Hubbard Glacier. This is North America's largest tidewater glacier. It measures an astonishing 76 miles long, and it's 1,200 feet deep. This area is teeming with wildlife, so you'll definitely want to keep that camera or your phone handy. And this is College Fjord, and this offers the world's largest collection of tidewater glaciers, including the famed Harvard Glacier. Discovered in 1899 during the Harriman Expedition, professors on the excursions named the glaciers after the elite colleges, such as Harvard, Vassar, and Yale. Princess brings more of Alaska on board. And how do we do that? It's through our North to Alaska program. If you are interested in doing a fishing um, shore excursion, we will arrange that for you. And once you catch your fish, because you will catch fish, whether it's salmon, halibut, or trout, we will bring that fish back to the ship. It'll be prepared for you that evening and served to you at dinner. And this program is called Cook My Catch and you'll see platters of fish coming out from the dining room when we've been in port during the day. Just so much fun. This woman on the left, her name is Libby Riddles, and Libby is the first woman that won the Alaskan Iditarod. And Libby brings her dogs, and Libby does a complete presentation when we're in Juneau on the Alaskan Iditarod. So you want to make sure that you're back to the ship approximately 4, 4.30 in the evening. We're there till 10 p.m. So you can make a trip back and then go back out again if you wish. We also, as I just mentioned, we've got the two park rangers on board with us in Glacier Bay. As well as we have two naturalists that reside with us on board the ship from May to September, and they'll be doing presentations and they'll be available to answer any of your questions as you're cruising along. And everyone's favorite is the puppies in the piazza. Now, the piazza is the ship's main uh, lobby or the atrium of the ship. And when we're in Skagway, we bring on the puppies and we, you can learn um, how they're trained for the Iditarod, what they eat, and you can play with them. And they're just adorable and everybody loves when the pups come on board in Skagway. And here we are in Whittier. And I'll take my cursor just so you can see the difference between the top of that rail car to the ship. See that Ultra Dome rail car? That's how close we are when we dock in Whittier to the, to the rail. It's, there's room for only one ship in Whittier. So this is an exclusive for the Princess passengers to have this port to themselves that day. They will, if we were doing the ship first, we would be coming off 
if we were moving on to the land portion, we'd be assigned to a rail car. You'll see how they've all got A, B, and C and on. We'd be assigned to one of these cars. We'd be given a time, be given a seat, and when everyone is seated, then we will take off. So we, uh, we, if we were headed to Denali, as I said, right now from the ship, we'd be eight to nine hours. Each one of these rail cars holds 98 passengers, and you do we give you a welcome packet on the train. So if you were headed from the ship to the lodge, you'd be given your room key, you'd be given a, a map. If you had any food vouchers, anything like that, everything would be in your packet. We don't expect you to check in when you get to the lodge. We have we own the ship, we own the rail cars, we own the lodges. So everything is seamlessly done for you. And vice versa, if you had done the land first and then you were headed to the ship, you would have everything you needed just to cross the street and to board the ship. You get a better look at the car from this angle. <clears throat> You can see that there's an outdoor platform in case you wanted to go outside and take some pictures. There we are leaving Whittier. This is the highlight that this journey is one of the highlights for everyone um, that's on the land to take the train and experience this. Here's the upstairs of the rail car. You'll note that of course there's no overhead space for your luggage. The bag that you take that day will have to fit underneath your seat. And there's phone chargers and right here. Um, and it's a very comfortable ride. Downstairs is a dining car area where you, you can order off the menu and food is freshly prepared for you. Now let's take a look at some of at, at our lodges. This is the largest of our lodges. This is the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. You're going to see a lot of similarities between our lodges. All of them are situated on riverbanks. All of them have multiple places to dine, whether it's indoor dining, outdoor dining. All of them have beautiful decks and fireplaces. There's a there's gorgeous fireplaces, which is a gathering room inside the main lodge, as well as fire pits outside for you to sit and be comfortable. And everyone that stays with us at our Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge will have a tour into Denali National Park. Many of our tours include what we call the Natural History Tour. And the natural history tour is approximately four to four and a half hours guided tour into the park. But some of our tours have uh, the, what we call the tundra tour. And the tundra tour is much farther into the park. It's approximately eight to nine hours with a box lunch. And if you are looking at a tour that has the natural history tour, and if, if you are at Denali, the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge for two nights, the AAA advisor will ask if you would like to extend the option and transfer over to the Tundra Tour. The Tundra Tour is an upgrade, but it's, it's relatively inexpensive. I believe it's around $67 per person to upgrade to the longer tour into the park. And let's take a look at the park map. So here we are, you enter right here by the Park Visitor Center and the Natural History Tour, which will stop several times along the way, will stop here around mile marker 30 in the park. If you take the Tundra Tour, you would go continue on and you would stop here at mile marker 62. Well, what's the advantage of one tour over the other? It's less congested on the Tundra Tour simply because the park services limit the number of people that can go past mile marker 30. And the longer that you're in the park, the more opportunity that you might have to see more wildlife. 
So it's just a personal choice, whichever one you feel more comfortable with, but know that you do have options. And here's our Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge. And this is as close to the mountain as you will be able to get. This is 41 miles away from the base of the mountain. This is one of our smallest hotels, the lodges. This is called the Kenai Princess Wilderness Lodge, located on the Kenai Peninsula, only 85 rooms here. But every room has a screened in porch and a wood burning stove. And this is the view from the back of the Kenai Peninsula, the Kenai Princess Lodge. Look at that scenery. Again, another hotel that's only 80, this one's 85 rooms. This is the Copper River Princess Wilderness Lodge. And this lodge is right at the base of Rengel St. Elias National Park. And that became a national park in 1983. It's home to nine of the 16 highest peaks in the United States. And this is the view from the great room, the windows in the great room in the lobby here. And the parks, the park rangers have actually put a visitor center here as well at the Copper River. And a great day trip is the Kennecott Historical Mines that you could tour. And there's the view from the deck of the Copper River Princess Lodge. People will often ask me and they ask the AAA advisors, when is the best time to go to Alaska? Well, as I said, it's a short season to start with. It's mid-May through mid-September only. And if you look at these temperatures up here, you know, at Denali, that's, it's, I've been up there and it's been in the 70s. So I don't know if what the average is gonna be from now on, things are changing so much. But um, you can see that the peak weather is the same weather that we're having in Syracuse. The best weather in Syracuse, Buffalo, Rochester is going to be July, mid-August. That's when the weather is the best in Alaska as well. But if you take a look here, if you didn't want to be in the rainy season, there's very little rain in May and June. But if you wanted the fall colors with the fall foliage and beautiful oranges and yellows, when you're traveling through that inside passage, the water reflects the, the colors. That's a great time to go as well, late August and September. If you were looking to spot whales, well, that's all season long. And we have whale spotters up on the bridge uh, and an officer would be making an announcement um, if the whales were spotted. In case you miss them, we've got spotters. But the peak season for whales would be July. If you were looking for the most daylight hours, that's gonna be June and July when it's 22 hours of daylight during that time. If you were looking for the Northern Lights, you'd want obviously less daylight. So you would go in September for the Northern Lights. If you wanted to see wildlife, well, the wildlife is there all season, but it's easier to spot them May and June before we've had the 22 hours of daylight, because what happens then is the greenery, the foliage gets so deep and so lush, they, it gets a little bit harder to spot them. And also in May and June, they have been hibernating. So they're very active and they're hungry and you can spot them faster without the greenery being that lush. And fishing, you can fish all season long, but it would be June and July would be the peak season for that. And if you were looking for off peak pricing, you would go in May or September when the prices are a little bit less expensive. If you're traveling with families or if you're planning on taking grandchildren uh, along with your adult children, that would be June, July and August timeframe. AAA across the country sells so much princess, sends so many princess passengers to us that we have given them their very own tours. If you have been taking a look at our brochures, and yes, I'm very happy to say that for 2022, we do have a real life 
paper brochure for the first time in two years. So they are available, or you can get one digitally sent to you from your AAA agent. But when you look at those brochures, every land and sea package in there, in the brochure, will be labeled alphabetically, tour A, B, C, D, and onward. Well, the AAA tours are going to be different. They are AAA 14, and the N is for north, which means land after the cruise, or AAA S for south, which means the land before the cruise. So land after, land before. So AAA 14 has four nights on the land. It's got two nights at the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge, one night at the McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge, one night at Anchorage, and the hotel that we use in Anchorage is called the Captain Cook Hotel, and it's downtown Anchorage. We do not own the property there, but we do have princess representatives at the Captain Cook. It has the natural history tour into Denali National Park, and of course, it's got the direct to the wilderness rail service. But it also, the AAA tours have meals included on the land portion. The majority of your meals are included on AAA 14 and 15. And of course, we can't put them in the brochure because they're only available through AAA. So that's four nights on the land. And these tours run from May to September plenty of dates. And this is AAA 15, also operating land after the cruise or land before the cruise. So it'd be 15 north if you wanted to do the land after the cruise. 15 south would be the land before the cruise. And this is five nights on the land. And this is two nights at the Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge two nights at our Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge, one night at the Fairbanks Princess Riverside Lodge, direct to the Wilderness Rail Service. And while you're in Fairbanks, we also have uh, the Stern Wheeler Riverboat Cruise, and that's a family-owned operation down the Chena River, and that's a great trip that's included here. And the majority of your meals are included on this tour. So it's 11 nights or 12 nights for these tours. We have currently going on what, we're, what we call the best sale ever. And it really is the best sale we offer all year round, all, all year. It's available through March 2nd of 2022. It's for 2022 Alaska, as well as 2023. And what's included in the best sale ever? Well, let's start with your drinks. We include your all-inclusive beverage package. That has your specialty coffees and your teas, bottled water, fountain soda, and up to 15 alcoholic drinks a day. Okay. And it also includes your 18% gratuity on that package. So that is all included in the rates that the AAA advisor is going to quote you. We also are including the Wi-Fi and we are including specialty dining. And what that means is we have two specialty dining restaurants on board our ship and the value, if you were to go and purchase that dining, it would be $29 per person for our specialty dining. We're also, we also are including crew appreciation. And what that means in the old days, we used to call that uh, the tips for the crew or crew gratuities. That is all included as well. And if you were to book on March 3rd, you might, you'd be paying the rate would be uh, $14.50 per person per day for those gratuities. $15.50 if you were in a mini suite or above per person per day. But that is included in best sale ever. And the last thing that's included is a stateroom location upgrade. Now, what does that mean? 
right? What that means is that the AAA agent is going to book you, put you physically in a cabin that is the highest balcony cabin available. And it will be fared, or it'll be priced at the lowest balcony cabin available. So that what it mean, that's what that means when we say stateroom location upgrade. This is on all of our destinations, not only Alaska, and it's all of our staterooms. It's on sailings that are three days and longer, but it's good through March 2nd. Booking through AAA also gains you the AAA vaca vacation amenities. And, and what that is, it's up to $100 onboard spending money per stateroom. And that's going to vary by voyage length. So, for example, if you were doing a seven-night voyage of the glacier cruise, land and sea, it would be $50 onboard spending. And what that means is you can get on board and you can spend it any way that you would like, anything that you would like to spend it on. It also includes another specialty dining for two. So that would be a second dining night that you could, you could dine at the specialty restaurants complimentary. It also comes with AAA's 24-7 member care and AAA's best price guarantee. And for 2022 cruise tours, AAA, what we are offering through on tour 14 and 15 is if you were going to book in a balcony, you would also get $100 uh, it says it's called cruise tour cash, but picture it like a voucher so that when you got to the lodges, you would have a hundred dollars to spend at the lodges. If you were booking an outside ocean view cabin or an interior, it would be $50 cruise tour cash. This is applicable until February 18th and it's on exclusively on the AAA tours 14 and 15 for 2022. And that is my last slide, Tina. How are we doing on questions? Okay, Debbie, let me see if I have this straight. So booking through AAA, you get the meal plan included on the land portion of the trip. Correct. You get the, yeah. Yes, you yeah. get the majority, the majority of the meals, right. You get money off of the trip itself. You get a reduced deposit. You get spending money on the ship. Princess has a promotion where you get the complimentary beverage pa package, Wi-Fi, specialty dining, cabin upgrade, gratuities included. This is fantastic. It really is. It really is. Um, it's uh, it's very rich. It's very layered. And I also forgot to mention, if you have served in the military, um, if you would pr provide your AAA advisor uh, a copy of your discharge DD-214, we also have onboard credit. Um, this is a standard program that we operate with all the time, and it's our way of thanking thanking our military for their service. So you can also layer that on top of this too as well as well. I just forgot to include that in the in my presentation tonight. I love that. That's wonderful. It it, it really is. So I'm excited to have brochures. I'm excited to have 2023 available um, as early as we have. And it's primarily because of the pent up demand uh, from the lodges being closed. So that's why we opened um, 2023 as well. Great. We do have two questions. One came in earlier in the webinar, and I believe you already answered that by showing the chart with the different months on it. His question was, uh, what is the best time of year to travel to Alaska, spring, summer, or fall? So if you do have additional questions on that, Willie, that she didn't already answer, please go ahead and put the questions back in the box. Uh, one other question came in if I gave my if I already booked my cruise for June and did not get a cabin upgrade is it possible that my AAA advisor can still offer me that upgrade it seems reasonable um, without looking specifically at a booking um, I would I would 
guess that we could absolutely put change that. Sometimes it's not always better, but we can always, uh, the AAA advisors will take a look at it and really analyze what your better choice is, whether it's to go with the promotion or to go with what you already have booked, but they would definitely be able to look at that for you. And I'd reach out um, to them um, via email and just ask them to take a look or give them a call. Yes, I agree. Uh, Amy has asked, are there any excursions for dog sledding, fishing, or hunting? Dog sledding and fishing, yes. Um, hunting, I haven't seen anything. Remember, uh, we haven't been there since 2019. Um, a lot of the vendors have changed with us, um, but I don't recall hunting, but I do definitely hunt a fishing in every one of the ports. And then dog sledding. You can do dog sledding whether it's on dry land or you can even be taken over dog sledding uh, on the glaciers. And that's in the majority of the ports of call as well as on the land portion. There'll be dog sledding. I've actually done the dog sledding and I've done fishing in Alaska several times. It is amazing. It really is. It is truly. Yeah. All right. Are there prices out for 2023 yet, Debbie? Yes, they are, and our um, our triple A tour 14 and 15 are also avail available for 23. We don't have our full size brochure out, but we do have the mini brochure for 2023. Great. All right, Doreen, I am showing that I have a 13 day land cruise. Is that now a 14 day? Hmm. Uh, would have to look at what Doreen has booked. I don't know what she's referencing. I'm showing that I have a 13 day land cruise. Is that now a 14 days? Yes, we'll have to look further into that for you with a little bit more details. Right, yeah, that'd be helpful. Okay, how does laundry work for cruise tour packages? How well let, let's talk about laundry on board the ship too. Um, Princess is one of the few cruise lines that does has self-service laundromats on the majority of our passengers' decks. Um, you would swipe, you would just touch it. It's two dollars to do a wash. I always bring dryer sheets. Uh, there's um, a detergent that you can uh, purchase, or you can simply put Tide Pods in your suitcase. Because when you're gone for this long, let's face it, you got to do laundry, right? Uh, there's ironing boards in our laundromats. Um, they are not noisy at all. They are double doored. Um, I always book myself very close to the laundry just for convenience. Um, and uh, at the um, on the land side of it, the same thing is true. We do have self-serve laundromats, laundries, uh, so that you can do your own laundry, or you can send your laundry out, and uh, we'll do it for you for a fee. Okay, Daniel, you had questions about our AAA locations, and I will contact you directly about that. Donna, would you advise us to call the Fairbanks Lodge to discuss excursions there before our trip? No, not at all. Um, the AAA advisor can go over all the land options, the land excursions that you have, um, that you, because you can book those well in advance. And the, the lodge itself wouldn't really be the place where you would book those. I mean, you can add some packages when you're there, but you'd really want to have your day planned out before you got there. And the, the AAA advisor would be able to assist you with, with booking those land excursions. Yes, they are. Yes, they will. Is there something that provides the recommended attire for Alaskan cruises? There is in our Princess Answer booklet, which I will send you to. You, um, I'll send you a current copy of the Alaska. It's called the Answer booklet, and it would go into um, into how. Uh, things move between one lodge to another, what you might need. It gives you recommend recommendations. So I'll make sure you got a copy of it. Thank you. Is there a list, a price list for various room types? No, N um, not well. 
No, I don't know. Um, there's 26 different tours. Let's start with that. There's 26 different tours, and on and on each one of our ships, we may have 20, 25 different cabin types based on location. So there's not one clear price, one clear way. But the AAA advisor would be able to tell you what the what the starting price would be for a particular tour. They would be able to give you the interior and then if they if there was an ocean view cabin on these ships they would be able to tell you what that price was and then of course the balconies these ships are heavily uh balconied so sometimes there's not much difference between an ocean view cabin to a balcony cabin is this presentation going to be repeated i would like my friend to see it uh no what we did it twice today and i don't believe it's been recorded. I, I'm not sure if you recorded it. Actually, uh, oh yes, it is being recorded. It does tell me it, it is, is yes. Recorded. Yeah. But I wouldn't know where they'd find it. Do you know? Yes. Okay. Yep. I will reach out to you, Linda. Special pricing for groups? Absolutely. Um, but you we want to talk to the AAA advisor as soon as possible because group space can be as few as five cabins that's the that's the smallest number and then it goes up from there so the AAA advisor once you settled on a, a tour and a date they would hold that group space for you at no charge to you but but you really need if you're looking at five cabins or more on one sailing for a group you really do need to go into the advisors and, and talk to them and they can hold the space for you great and then i have someone asking about airfare is that something that needs to be done separate no i recommend that you stay with princess for the air because we have negotiated um strong discounts with the airlines and we use every carrier that goes to um, this part of the world um but trip remember I, I did mention it it was called princess easy air and the tickets the air seats would be held for you the flights would be held and you would not pay for that ticket until you made final payment which gives you the flexibility of taking a look at um taking a look is that the best time for you is that the best day for you uh, you can go a day before you can stay days after you can really use our air program and it is such a discounted rate that it's uh, uh, that it I think it's the best way to go best the best way plus if there's any problems with air uh, especially in the summer when we've got the June thunderstorms coming through everybody thinks the bad weather for flights is now but it's not always true. May and June, we've got some, we've had some severe storms in Western and Central New York, uh, thunderstorms. So it does hold, hold up flights. Um, you've got that protection of Princess knowing where you are. You've got an en route number uh, and we would put you on the next available flight. So I think the Princess Easy Air program is a better way to go versus purchasing the air independently. But you can always compare the rates. You can always compare. Doreen, you have specific questions about a tour, and I will reach out to you directly and answer those for you. Debbie, can you give an idea of what the starting prices are for 2023? And I know that, that is a, that's a loaded question because there's so yeah. many tours and options, so it might be difficult to answer. It, it actually is difficult to answer, but the, the lead-in price would be on um, tours that have the minimum three nights on the land. Uh, so there are three tours that have three nights on the land, tour A, tour B, and tour C. Those would be the lead-in prices. But when you compare those three nights to a four-night triple A 14, which may be a higher price, but it's got the meals included in it and it's got the cruise tour cash and it's got, so you just have to weigh it out and compare. Uh, sometimes the lead in price may not be the best price because it's not all inclusive as tour 14 and 15. 
Great. Christopher would like to know a little bit about your COVID precautions and are we forced to eat in groups? Well, our onboard, our onboard health protocols currently, and this is our guidelines through April 30th of 2022, is that our guests have to be vaccinated to be on board. We have not even allowed um, children on board that were not able to get vaccinated. So we've been very strict about that. Uh, and so masks have been, um, masks are to be worn when you are in the public areas on board our ships currently. And of course, everything is subject to change. But right now it's masks when you're in the public space or in our elevators. Uh, when, of course, when you're in our dining rooms, once you're seated in the dining room, you're not wet masked. Once you're in the public space, um, seated, you don't have to. And of course, outdoors, it's not required. So um, that's currently what our mass is. I don't understand the question about dining with groups, that, that I'm not sure what that's all about. Yeah, there's a lot of flexibility when it comes to dining, dining just, you know, two people, you can dine with four people, six, eight. So there is still that flexibility. Oh, very much so. And we've added more tables of two and on our ships too. just. Oh, nice. Yep. All right. A few more questions here. Kelly has never cruised before. Should passengers be concerned about seasickness? You know, I showed, um, I don't know, I hope Kelly was there to see the pat, the picture where I showed how close the ship was to um, land when we went through the inside passage. And that's true for the, for the, well, for three quarters of the trip. Alaska is like going through a, a glass, just cruising through that inside passage is like glass. Um, you know, where you need to be concerned about seasickness and everybody's different, everybody's got different um, sensibilities, but uh, you know, you maybe you wouldn't want to be very high up on a higher deck. Maybe you'd want to be lower on deck five. Maybe you'd want to be on deck eight, something, um, something like that to avoid it or um, be very mid ship. Uh, but AAA agents will know all the details about where to, where to actually book you based on your individual concerns. Thank you. Okay, Willie is asking about aft cabins. It looks like in his opinion, that is always the thing to do. What do you think? I agree with Willie. I'm all about it. I that's where I put myself. I, I did mention that I, I go right for it by the laundromat and I go to the app section because when I do that, it's a quick zip right up the stairs to the um, horizon court or the marketplace so I can grab uh, breakfast or lunch, whatever. Uh, but it's very easy. I agree with Willie. I really I I like the app section. Or, um, but it depends too if I was like the, the question before, uh, where I would be motion sensitive, there'd be less motion in the middle of the ship. It just depends again on everybody's personal preferences. Great. It's best to speak to a AAA advisor on this one, but can you speak briefly on single cabin pricing versus double? I can. Um, we do not have single occupancy cabins on board these ships. So the rate is when we quote a per person rate, if you're single, it would be it would be double the rate. Great. Okay, Cindy, I read that Denali Tundra Wilderness Tour only goes to mile marker 41 for 2022 due to the road construction. Is something else being added to this particular tour or is it just cut short for the day? I have heard it that it was going to be short in the beginning of May, but I have not heard that that's going to be true for the whole season. Great. Great questions, everyone. How much is the deposit and when is the balance due? The deposit for AAA is until February 18th. We've got a promotion with AAA where it is $100 per person, fully refundable up to final payment. And final payment is 85 days in advance. 
We also have a program called Princess Easy Pay where you can make monthly payments if you wish. And you would just take, if you were a year out, you'd be 12 months, so you would take the balance and just pay uh, one twelfth of it each month if you wish, or you can simply just pay it at final payment. Okay, uh, we do have a question about how many occupants are on a ship, and I know every ship has different occupants, occupancy levels. It does, and currently we're not filling our ships, so, uh, but we're not saying what capacity they are going to be at. We're, we're trying to keep it at 50%, sometimes 55, we vary. So the ships are not full um, right now. Uh, and there are several different ships. There's seven different ships up there. So we could find the, the a, a, a good fit for you once we find out what your particulars are, whether you like the large ships, which truly are not that large compared comparatively to what's out there. We're talking 3,000 people on some of them, 1,800 on some other ships. Uh, it just depends what you like and we'll find the right ship and the right fit for you. Yes, we will. Okay, last questions and I will combine them. Questions about COVID rules and that's in combination with vaccinations and are boosters required at this point? Well, right now our health protocols don't go past April of 2022. We haven't determined yet uh, what the health protocols are gonna be for the summer currently. So I can speak only to what they are currently, not knowing if they will be extended. But right now, currently we are at 100% vaccination rate. Uh, there's got very few exceptions to that. Uh, that means for the crew as well, everyone's uh, vaccinated on board, which means not children have not uh, been able to sail with us with under these new restrictions. We are unsure for April, past April, what is going to happen. I think that the restrictions are going to loosen for children that are vaccinated. Boosters have not been addressed yet, so I, I don't have the answer to the booster question. Great, we did have one more question come in. If you have a future cruise deposit with Princess, does that work on the AAA packages? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I look forward to meeting you, Jim and Sherry Miller. We'll be more than happy to help you out with that. <laughs> And Willie, yeah, Willie just gave us a compliment. He says that we did a, a very nice job. Thank you, Willie. Thank you, Willie. All right, so that is it for the questions. Wonderful questions. Thank you very much for spending time with myself from AAA and Debbie Heggie from Princess. I did mention I would reach out to Doreen and Daniel directly. I'll give you both a call in the morning to answer your questions. And in the meantime, my name is Tina Davidson. Again, I'm the manager of the DeWitt and Camillus branches. My email address is Tia's and Tom Davidson, D-A-V-I-D-S-O-N at N-Y-A-A-A.com. Please feel free to reach out to me directly and I will assign you to a, an extremely experienced advisor who have all been to Alaska pretty much. Thank you. Thanks everybody for attending. Thanks for your time and thanks for the good questions tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks, Tina. Talk to you soon. Good night. Good night.